The contract negotiations between the Bruins and Jeremy Swayman's camp have hit a tense standoff with just a week remaining before the start of the regular season on October 8th and Swayman still unsigned. Even if the 25-year-old goalie inks a deal soon, he may not have enough time to be fully prepared for Game 1 against the Panthers. At this point, Swayman missing the season opener might actually be the best-case scenario, given the current state of these deadlock talks. Throughout the offseason, Bruins GM Don Sweeney and the front office have kept quiet about the specifics of Swayman's contract discussions, particularly regarding term and payout, a typical approach for Sweeney. However, Bruins president and Hall of Famer Cam Neely was much more open during a season opening press conference at TD Garden, revealing that the team had made Swayman a $64 million offer. I don't want to get into the weeds with what his ask is, Neely said, but I know that I have 64 million reasons why I'd be playing right now. Swayman's agent, Louis Gross, was quick to respond, releasing a statement expressing their extreme disappointment with the $64 million reference. Gross claimed this was the first time that figure had been mentioned in negotiations. Normally, I do not release statements or discuss negotiations through the media, Gross said. However, in this case, I feel I need to defend my client. At today's press conference, $64 million was referenced. This was the first time that number was discussed in our negotiations. Prior to the press conference, no offer was made reaching that level. Gross also added, We are extremely disappointed. This was not fair to Jeremy. We will take a few days to discuss where we go from here. It will be interesting to see how this situation plays out. It seems the Bruins might have attempted to paint Swayman in a negative light by referencing a figure that was never formally offered, a misstep that could backfire on the front office. The Bruins traded Lennis Olmark to Ottawa this offseason, leaving them without their safety net in goal. Let us know in the comments what you think will happen between the Bruins and Swayman. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.